Hi there! Welcome back to my channel. In case we haven't met before, I'm Anastasia, the founder of All You Can Face, and I'm passionate about teaching you how to exercise your facial muscles. Because what happens beneath the skin is equally important as what we put on top of it to stay looking beautiful and age gracefully. <laughs> And today we will talk about a topic which is very dear to my heart, namely fragrances. Because when we put on our skincare, it's just like a self-love, self-care ritual, which we also connect to certain scents. Or if we use a certain perfume, it really like catapults us into a time where we maybe had like an incredible summer, a great time with our friends. Or you will be just reminded of someone you've loved or still do. There are actually 17,000 fragrances on the market which we cherish and love. But exactly those fragrances can sometimes be the cause when we wake up the next morning and look like a pizza and we do not know is it because of the new moisturizer we bought or actually because of the scent in it. And today I would love to show you on how to detect why you have certain reactions due to certain skincare products or maybe you played aesthetician in your private bathroom just I did sometimes and just went overboard with it and what can you do to treat your skin after such incidences. And I would love also to show you a way where you can research on your own if you cannot put a finger on a certain ingredient and you do not really know why your skin reacts the way it does. And there are two websites which I love to use for that, which are the European Union Cosmetic Directive and the FDA, which is the Food and Drug Administration of the USA. There are actually 26 fragrances which are declared to cause allergic reactions, but do not have to necessarily. They are either artificially derived or of natural origin, such as extracts or essential oils, but we get to that later. There are actually five compounds which we think of when it comes to fragrance or aromas. And this might not be very exciting or something, but it's very good to know actually, so keep watching. The first one are esters, which are more your fruity notes, such as roses, pear or banana. The second one are your linear terpenes, which are more your lemony notes and woody notes. And thirdly, you have your cyclic terpenes, which are more your minty and eucalyptus based notes. Fourthly, you have your hearty notes, such as anise, clove or vanilla. And lastly, we have our amines, which are more the unpleasant scents, such as rotting fish, ammonia or just rotten eggs. So how can you determine whether you have an allergic reaction or your skin is just a softie when it comes to a certain product? Firstly, check if your skin easily turns red after using a certain product. Secondly, does the skincare sting? Thirdly, do you have rashes after using that product? Fourth, it can even sometimes cause rosacea. And five, check if you break out easily after using a certain product. These reactions are still mild and will not cause any immune response, but still are not pleasant. The symptoms I just described should actually disappear after a couple of minutes, if not hours. An allergy, on the other hand, is a way much more severe thing because your body gets into fight mode against the foreign substance. And this looks like, firstly, when you get flaky skin. Second, you can even get bumps or blisters. Thirdly, you cannot stop coughing or sneezing. Fourth, you might even have a swollen eyes or mouth. And fifth, you might have even itchiness without a visible cause. And these symptoms develop after a couple of weeks and just are ongoing and will not stop. So what can you do when your skin reacts to a product? If you feel like you're developing certain reactions right away, do not sit on your couch and wait for a miracle to happen, but go wash it off with lukewarm water. If you sensitize your skin, do not use any crazy chemical peels or harsh moisturizers or oils because it's basically like driving through a rocky mountain with a broken tire. And if the reaction is quite severe, please look for a dermatologist and do not do any home remedies which you can find off the internet because trust me bestie, I've been there and they didn't do anything for me. And lastly, stop your regular skincare regime if it involves a lot of acids or any peels, try to stick to the basics. A gentle cleanser, a moisturizer and SPF during the day and try not to touch your face or irritate it too much. And if you feel your skin starts slowly but surely to recover, then step by step introduce your old products and also see how your skin reacts during that time because it might be also due to products you already use where your skin just freaks out. 
Here are the 26 ingredients which I was talking about earlier, which can actually irritate and make your skin angry. Try to make a screenshot, check out your products at home and see whether you might react actually funny due to a certain product and if those ingredients are maybe in there. So overall, to conclude this topic, try to stick actually to less fragrance when it comes to your skincare because it can even sensitize your skin through a longer period of time and we do not want that because beautiful skin is in the end healthy skin and why would you irritate it for no reason with useless fragrance. Stick to your fragrance when you want to use a little perfume throughout the day but do not have it in your skincare. I know there are different opinions. I am also not completely against fragrance in my skincare. I do have certain products which do have some slight scent but I try to actually avoid it because why to irritate your skin if you do not have to. And I would love to actually hear from you how your skincare journey is going and whether you have a lot of fragrance in your skincare, whether you are the one loving to have this entire experience smelling through all your skincare. Because let me know if you actually suffer from irritation, from pimples, from acne, because that could be the cause for it. With that being said, I hope you love this video as much as I love doing it. And if you generally want to become the best version of yourself, learn more about your skin, start exercising your face, check out allyoucanface.com and I can wait to see you next week on this channel. Till then, have a wonderful day. Mwah.